And now it's time for Corner Table. It's our exclusive theater review segment featuring legendary critic John Simon and newcomer Justin Brown. Simon, he wrote for New York Magazine for more than 35 years and many other publications. He's also been featured in The Times, Washington Post, among others. Justin, an actor and director relatively new to the reviewing game. Well, tonight, John and Justin, they are looking at Latin history for morons. That's the sixth one-man show from John Legazamo. Hey, Corner Table friends. And hey, John. Hello. How are you? Pretty good. How about you? I'm Great. Today, we're going to talk about a very fun show on Broadway called Latin History for Morons by John Leguizamo. So, John, what are your initial thoughts about Latin History for Morons? Well, I think the subtitle is extremely honest. Mm -hmm. It really is for morons. But those are plentiful, and the audience I saw it with was about as moronic as an audience can get. Uh, they carried on. They jumped out of their seats in adoration of Logizamo. They couldn't sit still. They, they, they talked back to the stage, and he talked back to them. And uh, what he has to say is basically a plot from a play which pre pretends to be autobiographical, but probably isn't really. They, there's an invented son who has to write an essay about a Latino hero for his school and can't think of a Latino hero. And the father, Leguizamo, is trying to help him find the hero. But it's very hard to find one. It's almost impossible to find one. Right. I mean, for me, I had a lot of very visceral reactions to the show because I'm half Puerto Rican. Um, so, so much of culture that is not white is erased from history books and it's not included in the way that we teach children or the way that we view everyday life and so for me to sit in that audience I had a very cathartic experience because I remember being that child that he's talking about that by the end of the play he says you know I am Frida Kahlo and I am this person and I'm that person because we we inherit history and I think that what he does very well on the show that's directed by Tony Tacone is it unpacks so many different things. We're unpacking toxic masculinity because at one point the boy says, I don't want the hero to be a war hero. That's not what a hero necessarily is to me. We unpack misogyny with different kinds of Latinos that happen to be women that fought in several wars um, or kind of fought against patriarchal systems. John Leguizamo to me is just a very smart man and so ultimately he was able to inculcate so many different problematic issues in our history as Americans um, and kind of bring them to a Broadway stage in a way that I haven't seen someone do so like you're saying honestly um, and ultimately he's also a phenom he's on stage for over 90 minutes our playbill said 95 minutes and our show was 115 well Whatever that may be is, it proves that he has energy. Mm -hmm. He has energy to burn or to put on the stage or to make a fool of himself. He has energies for all those purposes. And he carries on for almost two hours without surcease, mm -hmm. which is an achievement, but it's a uh, sporting achievement it rather is. than an artistic achievement. And I would absolutely agree with that. There are moments in this where for me, if I'm seeing a one-man show, and I'm sure you'll probably agree with this, is I don't want it to feel like there are these points that we all have to hit, and there are these things that have to happen in the show. I want it to feel organic. I want it to feel as though this person has not rehearsed a single thing, and we're just here. And there are moments where I think where Leguizamo fails in terms of artistic technicality in that he would maybe reply to an audience member, and all of a sudden try and pull himself back into the place of the show in a very inauthentic way. Yeah, well, of course, one of the problems with it is that he makes Latino history into something much bigger than it really is. He pretends that the Aztecs and the uh, Incas and even the Mayos to some extent are all ancestors of today's Latinos, which in fact they're not. Well, I completely disagree with you, and I think that's one of the most uninformed things I've ever sat through to listen to, um, because in fact they are the ancestors of Latino heritage. 
And I think that that's why this show is called Latin History for Morons, is a lot of people don't know that and are uninformed by that. So would you tell our viewers out here to see it? Yeah, I mean, people who want to see something different, which it is, mm -hmm. and who uh, like to see one man do weird things quite effectively, they'll get that. Absolutely. Ultimately, I'm saying everyone should see this show. Everyone, whether you're Latino, black, white, Asian, regardless of what your background is, there's so much to learn that he's offering in this show through a lot of work that he's done through developing the piece for over four years now across the country. So all in all, thank you everyone for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. And coming up next, we'll take a look at some local headlines, so please stay with us.